Hey everybody, this is Mary. We're back with Game of Thrones. Let's see, last episode. Action and stress and anxiety happened. And so here we are. <laughs> is that a good uh, explanation of what happened? I think so. Wow, my uh my little city sucks. Well, the map, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. W we must hurry. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. Did the I rest promise of my men still in the grove? I think I promised I'd take him down. They could be here in minutes. Uh, yeah. Get him. I'll need every one of them for what I'm about to do. I'll have them here as soon as possible. Why weren't they Let's following go. to begin with? And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. Oh shoot, do I have to like pick the perfect time for this? Because that is not gonna go well. <laughs> hmm. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, oh my then. god, you and your pride. Pride is the death of everybody. <gasps> they know something's up. They can sense it. A shift in the wind. Oh, snap. Things are about to go all right or very bad. <laughs> I did it. The didn't oh, Stop this at once. Why? Oh my god. You let that fight faster. <clears throat> no, I tried as <clears throat> You'd have tried harder for a foster. My lord, please. Oh, I am my god. lord who matters here. Roderick. Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You Ooh. watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. <gasps> oh, is his foot? Is his hand? Never mind. <laughs> Don't believe you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Griff. You know that. Oh. <laughs> You got quite he didn't the like mouth that. on you, Roderick. You know what I think. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. Careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why the fuck not? You're planning to stop me? I don't know when a good time is. Oh, X! Oh! Oh, I missed oh, it! What's Damn it! Up to now, eh? Fancy yourself ah. a you are nothing, Roderick. I wasn't Just ready. Give up. Not today. Can I try again? You're just embarrassing. What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the him. only one here who gives the orders. Kill anyone that moves. Oh, you heard him. <laughs> oh my god. Out. He was serious. You can't do this. Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me. Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father. We'll go straight to Roos Bolton. I did warn you, Rick. We're not letting him live. You gonna hurt me? Yes. Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that. 
Yeah, we're gonna be rough. Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? Yep. Oh! Oh you my god. Stop. <laughs> is, that, is that his eye? Oh my god. Let's do it again. Ah! Oh, drink. <laughs> oh you fuck! <laughs> oh my god. I'm like enjoying this, but not. Okay. Whew. I can't. I can't fucking see. Good, bastard. Everyone will remember that. People are gonna think I'm badass. Confine the white skills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. Good. Now who's the cripple? Woo! Okay, that was that was satisfying. Word cannot reach high point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Why can't we just kill everybody? Kill the ravens. All of them. <sighs> okay, that was a explosive start. <laughs> Woo! I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells? Hey, 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 calm down! Calm down! What's going on here? I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't Obviously fight not. Like this, you think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking. Ah! Oh! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Oh my god, why Deal are you so mad? Friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Basically, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Oh shoot! Your that was circle. Is nobody <laughs> I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Let's just make love and get it over with. Come on, Ash. Wow, she is freaking beastly. Oh, if this was a real fight. You'd be dead. Yeah, we're gonna fight back. She needs it. Is this what you want? She needs it. She needs to get some aggression out. God. Tell me, what are you so afraid of? I was a slave. Okay, this yeah. should make you want to go. In this fucking city. Oh, my foot hurts. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. Oh my god. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. 
Oh, come on. You just boy. have a touch of survivor's guilt. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. That's enough drinking for tonight. It'll only make you feel worse. I don't need any more men telling me what to do. Oh, whatever. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Oh, that was depressing. It's terrible. No, I don't want to be here. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. Why are you, what are so you mad? doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? Yes. I have to. I'm not gonna take you down with me. <sighs> All right. Thanks, you girl. Owe me for this. She's with me. <laughs> we'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Those helmets look awfully uh, sight constricting. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's Aww. quite a feast, isn't it? He's Just smooth. be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! Oh. What's going on there? What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm sorry, I... I'm, I'm rather thirsty. 
Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. She always looks this so pissed. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Okay, um... Shoot. How am I supposed to do this? Uh, I'm not gonna eavesdrop on her. Crowd. Don't need to eavesdrop there. Let's eavesdrop here. Oh, shoot. Where's my pointer? It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. I wonder uh, if I have a time limit. Team. How good for you, Andrew. Well, I know he worked well, for him. That was easy enough. Okay, let's go listen to our uh, friend over here. And why would you ever stop dealing iron? Hmm, is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. No need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's listen to, let's listen to the crowd. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well... Wasn't he Lannister? One of uh, it kind of seems like this will be kind of boring. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Yeah, it's pretty worthless. So I don't want to spy on my friends. She's been pretty cool. Let's go talk to that dude we first eavesdropped on, Andros. Lord Andros. Mira Forrester, did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. Um, this one. Why I not? I hear your Lord Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing now. Congratulations. Who told you? You think you're smart, don't you? <laughs> that you've figured everything out. You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scare me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good day, Lady Mira. Okay, let's go talk to the other guy then, Morgren. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? Nanda? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me... I have a message from Lord Andros for you. And what would that be? He said he'd do much worse than drive you out of business. That insufferable! What did he mean by that? It seems Andros has already roped you into this mess. If you must know... I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold. 
but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Okay, should we go talk to that Lannister then? Man, that food looks good. Alright, you guys have fun. I don't care what you're talking about. Let's talk to you. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> oh. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. Seems super awkward. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, That's I'm flirt. sure. If you like, <laughs> you can whisper it in my ear. I, Ooh! Well, I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, go away. Nothing. He's trying to get laid. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Holy crap. Oh crap. I gotta- Lady we Marjorie. gotta get out. Oh my god. Run away. Lady Marjorie. Ha ha, you sucker. Oh, don't tempt fate, just leave. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. Okay, I'm not telling you her what secret. Can you tell me about her family. Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court we'll a lie. woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. You're For a welcome, moment, Sarah. I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick. It's your turn. How about we kind of walk away as we're talking? Right. I'm going to get caught. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse 
needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes? You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. Wink! I'd hate for Lord <laughs> Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Oh, Yeah, we gotta get the hell Thank out of here. Mira. Let's go. Stop eyeing everybody. Let's just go. Jesus. Hey, Lyman. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? Ooh, look at us getting sneaky. What? The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Damn. I'm getting mean. Andros is hiring cell swords, hundreds of them. Oh my God! What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows, or at least he doesn't want anyone to know. And you're helping him? Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't. You bloody traitor. What? What's going on? You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Oh god, don't bring my name into this. Eh, this is where we should slink off. Oh my god. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. Wow, the claws have come out. Damn, she grew up fast. <laughs> Okay, now let's get out. Are we finally leaving before we get caught? Nice. That was awesome. Lady Mira? You're alright. Woo! Trophy. <laughs> but I think that's where we're going to end this one off. That was a good ending to it. You know, we totally rocked that. Why can't the whole game be like that, you know? Just a little bit of stress, but I still rock it. <sighs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.